everyone I got one request on how to do the sweater so I'm going to do this uh, video although I didn't get my tripod really that the one that's taller I got one from a little local um, shop around here which was uh, a kind of a made in China kind of cute little um, tripod but it's not really very high so I've mounted it on some of my PlayStation 2 games but um, so you know there's not a lot of space for me to demonstrate how it would look so what I'm going to show you is that you need to use something that is longer the actual piece that you will need to use is one that has 48 pegs 24 and 24 48 pegs plus 2 that makes it um, altogether 50 pegs this will give you if you were to start from here you start here and then you finish here you will actually have a flat panel the flat panel piece that will give you a width of 18 inches the purple loom that I showed you before when I was in my previous video this one if you start from here and then you end here then you go back again you don't close this don't continue on here if you continue on here you will get a tube you need to stop here and then go back again knitting all the way back this one will give you a 22 inch width this one gives you an 18 inch width I can't demonstrate the sweater on this because I've got something already on but I wanted to show you and tell you something about this when you start off a piece huh, what happens is that after you've cast on and you start you'll get this curling effect which always happens because uh, it's just knit to get the ribbed effect where you want the flat piece for you to have this effect see this it's got a ribbed effect you must alternate you do knit one row then you purl knit purl you do this about four times so that you'll get a flat piece you see it lies flat it doesn't um, curl up at all when you do the flat panel for the poncho you need to do that so that you, when you start you get a nice straight flat bottom and you do the whole piece and when you finished it you get something that doesn't curl at all similarly with the sweater you have two options you can either leave it like this and then when you finish you take a crochet needle and do two rows of single crochet that will make it lie flat but if you don't like to crochet then you have no choice you have to start one row of knit one row of purl to purl you just have to check out some of the videos on YouTube like goodnight kisses and all that they've got very good instructions on how to purl on a loom what you need to do is that you need to alternate about eight rows in all four purl that means four knit and four purl that will give you that flat effect if you want something a little maybe a little narrower you can use three but you have to do that if you don't want it to curl okay now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to do the sweater sorry just sticking off all the stuff um, now in the beginning you cast on how many you need you keep on casting on here you cast on the sleeve the first part of the sleeve now if you do make a sleeve you must make it proportionate to your armhole because if you make anything less than seven inches you might find that it's too tight around the armhole so you need to have one side of the sleeve because you're making a back piece and a front piece so you join them together this is your sleeve so the this part of the sleeve the width of the sleeve has to be seven inches here let me demonstrate see here this is a sleeve this part has to be seven inches It's, it looks like it's less but it's about seven inches it's supposed to be seven inches because it's you know it's uh, very stretchy this thing is it's about seven inches actually now to get seven inches you need to use 20 pegs 
no sorry 20 pegs will give you actually 8 inches if you use 16 pegs you'll get 7 inches so it's up to you depending on how wide your arms are so you don't have that very tight effect around the armpit you can either use 20 pegs or 16 pegs so after you have done 16 pegs you've started it um, let me let me proceed with it and then I'll come back and um, show you after I've cast on. Okay, what I'm going to do is I've decided to actually use the longer loom because otherwise you might get the wrong impression of what this um, length of the sweater would be like, you know, because the other green one that I used earlier looked really small so I decided to do that so what I'm going to do I'm not actually going to show you how to cast on knit or, or pearl or any of those things because there are numerous really very well done videos on YouTube and I'm not going to be able to top those so you just search uh, on how to cast on and knit so you knit here what I've done is that I've done the 16 pegs and you'll have to do this part here the 16 pegs you're going to have to work them, knit them, and um, as you knit, oh dear, okay, sorry, now, um, as you knit them, you're going to get it longer and longer. The long length of this part here, as it goes down, will determine the length of your sleeve. So measure from your shoulder to your wrist, or if you want a shorter three-quarter sleeve, measure it to your forearm, and um, you will have the length of your sleeve. You continue doing this knit until you finish the length that you need for your sleeve that means let me explain huh? one sec let me just finish this okay here you go that is another row mind you you have to do it until you get this length now see here now um, I started that means you would similarly like this is you would have started from here you cast on this is half you know the other half is done for the back this is let's say the front so you've cast on your 17 stitches or I mean sorry your 16 or 17 stitches or depending on you if you want to do 20 now what you're doing is that you will um, start from bottom here the cast on and you start knitting all the way until you reach here this here here is where I'm going to extend it so let's say about 16 inches I think I did a three quarter sleeve, that's why it's 16 inches. So you do 16 inches, then you stop. So I'm not going to show you the whole thing. So let's assume for one moment that we have done 16 inches, which we can't because apparently I have, I'm on the wrong side of the loom. Oh, um, one other thing I wanted to point out while we're doing this is that, um, you must be careful when you're using a long loom like this. For instance, the fashion stitch which I demonstrated yesterday on one of the pieces that I showed, I didn't show you the fashion stitch. What I meant is that the fashion stitch was on one of the pieces that I, that I uh, displayed on the video. It uses both sides of the pegs. That means you, you, you stitch continuously this way. Now when you do those kind of stitches, be very, very careful because what happens is as you progress, as you go down, you are tightening, there's a tension, the tension tightens the pegs and the pegs begin to move inward. So what you must do is that you must work off a few stitches like maybe four or five on each side, but don't go all the way. If you go all the way, your loom will begin to bend inwards and actually come to a point where it will snap so you have to be very careful especially with a long loom and one that is extremely long like this because it becomes very easy for it to just bend inward and once it starts bending inward it will completely distort the piece that you're working on 
and it will look quite bad plus of course the, the pegs will get loose and it will probably snap now let's say um, like I said just now that this length here this one is actually the length of your sleeve so you've already finished your sleeve so now you're going to do the body of the of the sweater so what you're going to do is that your body of the sweater for this one you will get a 22 inch body that means from shoulder to around hips you will get 22 inch if you use the smaller loom the one with the 50 pegs you will get about 18 inches so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, wind the yarn until the end but this one is 22 inches so I'm not going to do all the way down I'll just do it till about 18 or so you know you can estimate like you know, if you don't want something too long the, the way to estimate is using ratios since you know that it this this one is um I can't remember how many how many I think it's 62 if I'm not mistaken this one so one sec yes 62 pegs so what you can do is by ratio you can calculate 62 pegs gives you a 22 inch um, length of a piece so if you don't want 22 inches and you want only 20 you use ratio meaning 22 inches is 62 pegs and 20 will be 20 times by 62 divided by divided by 22 20 times 62 divided by 22 will give you the number of pegs that you have to do to get 20 inches it's a it's a ratio and that's how you can work most of your patterns you know you can adapt them to what you need for instance if you come across a pattern that says the shrug for instance the one from the lion brand um, from Yolanda's uh, she showed it I think it was called the harvest shrug if I'm not mistaken the name of the shrug if you go to lion brand you have to take a so, um, just sign up a free account you know so that you when you do that you can get the free uh, patterns from that site and it will say there like for instance the shrug has to have a 44 by 44 inch by maybe 30 inch it has to be a, tr um, a rectangle piece that is 44 by 30 so if you want a 44 you do two flat panels join them together you get 44 and you do the length of each of them to be 30 so when you join them up you will get 44 by 30 and then you can follow whatever pattern wherever they require you to sew so by using the loom and using well a simple calculation you can actually basically do any pattern that is done for crochet and knitting on other sites you, if you have the measurements there you can work them and if you can get the um, approximate measurements you can use the the joining up instructions once you work them out the more you try the more um, familiar you will be with it okay let's say I'm going to stop here right so we're going to go back I'm going to go back ah, I'm going to turn this okay now here you go yeah, you have cast on the first row you continue doing this so this part that you are doing is actually from your shoulder to your waist or hips depending on how long you make this now the, that part of it whether it's to your waist or to your hips is is controlled by the length of your loom it cannot go more than that so you can't have like for instance the largest piece that you can make here is 22 inches that means you can only do from the top of your shoulder to 22 inches down which is which can reach up to your hips you can't do more than that because the loom is not larger than that you can make it smaller but you can't make it bigger so what you do now is that you continue working the knit over and over on this 
until you reach the width of because you, first of all this is your sleeve here your sleeve is coming out and here it will become longer on this side whereas the sleeve will stop growing but the body will start growing here so as the sleeve goes down the body grows and what you need to do is um, for instance if you have a 36 inch um, chest so you give it about 37 so half of that will be around 18 and a half so you work 18 and a half once you reach the length of 18 and a half you cast off and go back to this point again and then work the sleeve that's how you do it you work the body until you get half the breadth the width of your your piece because you're doing one back piece and one front piece and they are identical and you're just going to join them up along the sleeve and the shoulders to get your sweater see you're going back and forth you know so what will happen is that it will when you when you, when you take it off the loom it will be a straight piece it's not joined up so even if you were to use till the other end here make sure that when you worked here don't join it to this because if you do that then you you, you would have made a mistake and you'll have to take everything out so just be careful maybe if you want to be safe you do till here so that you don't make that mistake and and close up the the stitches so that's basically it after you finish this part you go back and finish the next leaf you to continue here all the way to the end then come back again you continue working this I practiced doing this with my left hand only because I found that my right hand was getting tired you see so I decided that you know the only way I could continue working this is to train up my left hand also to to work on on the piece after a while you get quite proficient at it so not to worry as they say practice makes perfect Now, when you reach the other end, oh, this yarn is not coming out properly. Now, when you reach the other end here, what you do is you go back. Now, you go back again this way. You continue doing this until the body of your your sweater grows to the length to the width of your chest front chest and um, after that you take off you cast off all this and come back to here and do the next the other side of the sleeve so that when you take it out you will have this See, first you did this part here you came up to here then you extended it and you work the piece down all the way and you do the whole length and you notice you can do half colors like this you see because of the fact that it is not like the normal way where you work your way upwards and so you can only do horizontal color changes but this way you can actually change the colors half half like this you know even if you can do vertical stripes even so now you work all the way across and then when you reach the length the the width that you need again you cast off everything and then you work the rest of the sleeve and then you work one back and one front and you join them all up here along the sleeve and the sides this one i didn't really bother although it was curling but because it was um, cotton I didn't bother to 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 finish it off with uh, single crochet because it didn't really look that bad, you know. 
but you can if you want to, it to lie flat you finish it off with a single crochet well if you have I'm, I hope I, I was clear if you have any problems and you can't really understand what I've been talking about just write your questions and I will try to answer them hopefully I haven't complicated things and made it difficult for you to understand well hope that your sweater turns out okay and um, any other questions just put a note down bye happy looming